find the equation of the line where the two planes intersect. So, we've got these two planes. And let's just begin by thinking about their normal vectors. So, plane number one is minus 3x plus 2y plus 7z is equal to zero. And we, of course, know by now that the coefficients of these variables represent the components of the corresponding normal vector. So we can say that vector n sub 1, the normal vector of the first plane, has components negative 3, 2, 7. And our second plane is defined here as 2x minus y plus z is equal to negative 9. So again, looking at the coefficients of our variables, we can identify the normal vector. So the normal vector of the second plane, vector n sub 2, is a vector with the components 2, minus 1, 1. Now before we get started, we always want to check, are these planes parallel? So looking at our two normal vectors here, we think, phew, they are not scalar multiples. So we can make a love note here to ourselves and say that since the normal vector n sub 1 does not equal a scalar multiple of the second normal vector. These normal or these vectors are not parallel, which thus implies that the planes are not parallel. So since the planes are not parallel, it is safe to assume they intersect and we can proceed into finding the line of intersection. So the goal, we want to find where or the we want to find the vector valued function defining this line of intersection. So we're looking for that vector valued function, vector r of t, defined by the position vector x naught, y naught, z naught, plus the arbitrary parameter t multiplied by that parallel vector with the components a, b, c. So in reminding ourselves of this vector valued equation of a line in space, we realize that we need to find a point and a vector that is parallel to this line. So part one, we need to find a point where these two planes intersect one of the coordinate planes. So let's find the point P naught. Again, you have three options. And for this example, let's do, let's find where they intersect the yz plane. So we are doing where those two planes intersect the yz plane. So if we're finding the point where they intersect the yz plane, we want to go ahead and let x be equal to zero. So how is this affecting these two equations that we started with? Well, the first equation will become 2y plus 7z is equal to 0. And the second equation, if we let x be 0, we're left with minus y plus z is equal to negative 9. So this is our resulting system. We'll say that's equation 1, and this is equation 2. And we want to use this system of equations here to solve for y and z. So looking at our coefficients here, what about if we multiply our second equation by 2 and then add these two equations together? That'll cancel one of our variables. So we're going to do equation 1 plus 2 times equation 2, and we'll solve. So this is going to leave us with equation 1 remains as it is. We still have 2y plus 7z equals 0. And our second equation is now minus 2y plus 2z is equal to negative 18. So notice by doing this, those y variables cancel each other right out to 0, leaving us with 9z is equal to negative 18. And dividing both sides by 9, we see that z is negative 2. So we can now use this negative 2, this z equals negative 2, to find y. So you can substitute z equals 2 into either equation. I'm going to substitute it into the original equation 2. So this will be y, or negative y, 
minus 2 is equal to negative 9. And we can switch the position of y and 9 here. So we have 9 minus 2 is equal to y, showing us that y is 7. So we now officially have the ordered triplet, p naught. Again, remember at the beginning, we let x be 0, and we just found z and y. So we can say that, therefore, the two given planes intersect the yz plane at the ordered triplet p naught, which is defined here by the components 0, 7, negative 2. And so this is the first part of our solution. We have the point on the line. And step two is to find a vector parallel to the line. So we need to find the vector v that's parallel to the line of intersection. So we'll keep in mind here from our strategy that we know that our parallel vector v is going to be defined as the cross product of the normal vectors of the two planes. So we can go ahead here. We know that we are crossing vector n sub 1, which is defined by the components negative 3, 2, 7. And the normal vector of the second plane is defined by the components 2, negative 1, 1. And so we can go right ahead and put this into our 3 by 3 determinant to find the cross product. So we have our first row of unit vectors i hat, j hat, k hat. The second row is 2, or excuse me, minus 3, 2, 7. And our third row is 2, negative 1, 1. So by the cross product, we have 2 minus a minus 7 i hat minus a negative 3 minus 14 j hat plus we have positive 3 minus 4 k hat. And so simplifying this leaves us with we have 9 i hat. We're going to have plus 17 j hat minus k hat. So therefore, one possible parallel vector to our line of intersection is defined by the vector with the components 9, 17, minus 1. And the reason I say that this is one possible parallel vector is because any scalar multiple of this vector will work. So here we specifically defined our parallel vector as the cross product of n sub 1 and n sub 2, but we could also switch the order of those or use any scalar multiple of what we just found. So there's lots of different answers, lots of different correct answers here. So we've got the point. We've got the parallel vector. So we are officially ready to find the line of intersection. So this is one possible line of intersection. So again, our vector valued function of a line is defined by the position vector x naught, y naught, z naught, defined by the point on the line, plus the arbitrary parameter t multiplied by the parallel vector. And plugging in what we just found, the position vector defined by p naught is 0, 7, minus 2, plus t multiplied by the parallel vector. 9, 17, negative 1. And let's simplify this. We can say that therefore the vector valued equation of the line is the vector with the components 0 plus 9t. We have 7 plus 17t. And we have negative 2 minus t. And so this is just one possible beautiful final answer for the line at which those two distinct planes intersect.